Oh, that was quick. Sorry, cat. Ow. I have to plug stuff in. Yeah. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We are playing Scarlet Nexus. We get to go uh, try to figure out what exactly the hell's going on with Naomi and maybe find out where she's at. Maybe find out what the hell to do. But it seems <clears throat> our plot is finally here. Finally found you, Sheedan. You're not hurt. Of course I'm not. Don't treat me like a lost child. That's what you looked like to me. You little... All right, let's go home. I'm ready to go, but where's Naomi? There was a reading around here that seemed like her. Naomi died. What? Kasane. What? I had to tell him. You're right. Hey, was she really killed? I know you're cold-hearted, but this is too frigid. Why would I lie about it? Naomi is dead. Kyoka left me in charge of the platoon. I wasn't good enough and let Naomi get killed. That's not true. It was... That's just not what happened. No, it is true. I know words are never enough, but I'm sorry. Oh, dear. You must be so sad after losing your sister. Kodama, what do you want? Are you looking for wounded? Shiden, you little traitor. You know I don't do menial jobs like that. Right. Well, the reason doesn't really matter, so I guess I'll just say you were attacked by others. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, time to die. I'll just kill you. What do you want to? Oh dear, you had enough time to talk? I don't have to give you more to deal with. It got me. Yeah, we're about to fuck you up though. This woman is impossible to understand. Is she actually trying to kill us? Wow, big talk from a traitor. You always were such a bad boy, Sheenan. Shut up. Just listening to you talk like that makes my skin crawl. No way. 
Level 20, huh? That was pretty much a test, though. I right? You. Right. You're pretty good. What's going on? Why would you do something like that? Hmm. Well, I have my reasons. I don't like this one. Maybe it's time for me to get serious in round two. That's enough. Our mission isn't finished yet. Restrain yourself, Kodama. Major General Fubuki. Kodama, I'll take care of this. You don't need to get involved. Okay, understood. Gemma, Shiden, and Kasane. I know you're angry, but can you forgive Kodama for my sake? No. I don't mind. I'm not that angry. This just jumped us. Oh, you're so sweet, Kasane. <laughs> now she hides behind Major General Fubuki. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Gemma, how about you? Understood, sir. All right. How are you? We're returning to the frontline base. I know you all sustained some serious attacks, so pull back and get some rest. Okay, <clears throat> we should withdraw. Oh, I'm not sure I have enough in me to go straight back to Suo. Should we stop by the hideout? Yeah, Major Kyoko will most likely have the same idea. Doing all right. How are you? Yeah, I just got me some water. Bad. Thank goodness you three are safe. And uh... no, I shouldn't be happy. I heard from Major Just doing General a bit Fubuki. of gaming before work. Naomi, she's dead. I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn all morning. Nice. Yeah, the Damn game is uh, once it clicks, it's addictive. It's it's really fun, and then once it clicks, you start realizing how much you can actually. Um, and now she's gone. You know, strategize and all that stuff. She served like any other OSF soldier. If I believe what Karin says, Naomi is still alive. I don't know what he's thinking, but I have to leave my sister with those people for now. Wait for me, Naomi. I promise I'll come for you. Yeah, I'm definitely getting better with the strategies. <laughs> I am glad you're enjoying it. When do you have to work? Uh, and I have to leave in like two hours or so. Yeah. Also, what is this game? This game is Scarlet Nexus. It's from Bandai Namco, people that did Code Vein, and a bunch of other anime style games. Um, <clears throat> it's got a whole lot of anime tropes in it where people just never shut the fuck up. And repeat themselves a lot and over exaggerate a shocking moment or not 
and, and you know the, the dialogue is definitely anime heavy and it's semi annoying is that soul caliber uh yeah yeah namco was and then they I'm not sure if they've turned into Bandai Namco or if they are separate companies, but yeah. <clears throat> but it's a action adventure slash. Well, I, I guess it's more of an action Super RPG because you got you got party members at least three, and you have stats and levels and. Uh, skill points and shit to use and yeah but things like this there's a fucking text message system in the game and I'm not reading all of this because I don't care none of this stuff is going to make me do anything I just press the reply button and boom shit like that happens and that's that's all we do oh bond episode not yet Oh, bond episode, not yet. I, actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Yeah, that's a lot. It, it is, and it's 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 pretty much just, Hi, how you doing? I found a kitten. That's great. I'm eating a lollipop. Hi, nice to meet you. Did you almost get run over by a car? No, I'm floating in the clouds. It's random oh, gibberish. That was fast. With like three words out of the entire thing going, here. we're in a mission. Let's order us a like, bucket of sweets. Like this right here, this is all just probably this is so good. Tea with sweets is the best forgettable ever. content. I guess. The but tea and the cake aren't as good as what Naomi made. That's, yeah, she that's what the uh, anyway, other than anime that, games are like. Are relaxing? Relaxing. You're not relaxed. If there's something bothering you, you can talk to me. But the combat is pretty fun. The uh, you, you pretty much got to press a bunch of buttons to get the maximum amount of combat going on. So a lot of squares and triangles and circles and then R ones and circles and triangles and then L twos and R twos while pressing R one and circle and things like that. Or how to make openings on the battlefield. Uh, was that a compliment? It's yes, fun. it was. You just go right in, even if it's an obviously dangerous situation. Why is that? I feel like you're saying I'm reckless. But yeah, if I had to give a reason, it's because I trust my friends. There are other people who will watch the whole battle. Even if <clears throat> I'm a little excessive and clumsy, someone will cover for me. <laughs> I guess I sound spoiled. I see. Trusting your friends. Is that girl a child? She's I suppose young, there are I'd imagine. Ways to fight. I'm glad I could help. But that's not what 16 I was to 18, maybe? Maybe 15 to 17? I don't know. How I, get along? What I, I do believe I have her um, biography, so I could probably pull it up and like look. There's someone you like. But yeah, she has you pretty... Uh, someone, but I'm not worried about it. Really? Pretty high pitched voice. That's cool. There's there's another one that's worse. Um, we just got in a boss fight with the character I hate the most so far. I don't even remember the little bitch's name, but she a guy or something. She's worse worse than us. should have said so from the beginning. So irresponsibly high pitched. I don't know. At least I've never felt anything like that. So there's no one that you like right now? I don't think so. I'd know if I liked someone like that, wouldn't I? What? Um, I think you can be attracted to someone without realizing it yourself. Really? Uh, Kasane? <sighs> I'm going to head back. Yeah. Sorry it got so awkward. Got so awkward? It's Bitch, it started awkward. I don't know if it was relaxing, Wait. but I had fun. That's, um... Uh... I haven't had pointless small talk with anyone since I've been separated from my sister. It's because this is the first person we've ever had contact with, okay? Then I'm glad I invited you. She you made it awkward, so yeah. Like, fuck. Uh, we're friends, of 
course I care. I know you for like a whole five minutes. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think so anyway. Is that bad? So the way they do this storytelling thing is a little weird. It's not bad, it's just weird. Like there's still frames and then the little mouths move sometimes here and there. Considered us classmates. Well, we can say we're friends now. I guess we can. It's weird. But it also saves a whole lot of space because this game in its entirety is less than sixteen gigabytes. I'll see you later. Which is ridiculous. I can dig it. I don't know what to say about Naomi. I know what to say. Just shut the fuck up for five minutes, okay? I don't know what you games have problems with. Just shut the fuck up. It's not that hard. Let me play. Okay, you want to send me some messages and whatnot? Throw it in the fucking text message system here and uh, we'll not read it. I thought your clothes and accessories were cool. Wow, my sister made it cool. Naomi's amazing. Oh, you want to go shopping? Uh, I don't really care, though. Like, really? Who fucking cares? I heard about Naomi. I couldn't oh. do anything to help, and I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It wasn't your fault. What is the point of all that? Uh, we are building relations. And in order to, um, like, like sheet in here. Oh, wait, I can replace them? Oh, fuck. Probably. It's relations for their, the, the, the combat abilities that they can do. It's not like arbitrary relations go on a date type of thing. At least I hope it didn't fucking turn into that. But you reply to their messages and just fucking bonding missions with them and it levels up these things so you can use them to their fullest so yeah the anime date simulator is fucking persona that's that's all that's pretty much all you do in that fucking game and, and the persona is a good game it's just outside of the actual dungeons and combat you're <clears throat> you're trying to play fucking patty cake and footsies with every fucking thing that you can see and it's slightly annoying. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the reason why why we um, <clears throat> go through all of that stuff. Um, I mean, I, I kind of like your ability. And I kind of like your ability because you're the only lightning dude I got. Not taking damage is cool. Nah. She's already a level two. So that's cool too. I don't know. I, I just don't. I don't. Fuck you, shield guy. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually I'll find out what to do with all these fucking colored things we'll get them from killing enemies and finding things in the environment um, we can also play dress up simulator as well so when there's something cool to look at or a different outfit that's cool uh, yeah probably we'll switch to that <clears throat> but Characters. Okay, well, her birthday is August 16th, so she's one? I, I don't know. I don't know. She has fire abilities, though, so she's pretty awesome. And this one has... You know... So far, none of the characters have made me just want to be like, no, fuck you. Sheedon here. He's close, though. He's a fucking cunt. And he, know he, he knows he is. So, like, as long as they acknowledge it, then I, I guess that's, that's fine, right? 
Alright, time to do another bonding episode. And normally, like, if I wasn't streaming, I'd just skip all this shit, because I don't fucking care, and it doesn't matter. Like, this is not an integral part of the game. It's just bullshit yappering. No, we're not okay. Our sister's dead, you fuck. And also, this bitch has got clairvoyance. You can't lie to her. Now that you mention it, you were there too, weren't you? When it happened, you saw Naomi transform. Yeah, it was really scary. Just thinking about it upsets me. But I know it has to be harder for you. So... <laughs> and that's why you reached out to me. Thanks, but I'm fine. That can't be true. You can't be okay. I didn't say that I wasn't in pain, but right now, I have bigger priorities than my own feelings. Hi, Luna. You I'm are more in the entertaining room the game right now because I can't That's play all. it. You're just talking. You don't need Hi. to worry about me. Hi, kitty kitty. Okay. Have you talked to my sister before? I mean, you're in different platoons, so I figured you wouldn't have interacted that much. We talked once in a while because we had common hobbies like gardening. Gardening? I like growing okay. flowers. Go on, kitty kitty. When I said that, Naomi said she was interested as well. <laughs> Danny says hi, Luna. Flowers. Right. Naomi did like flowers. Not just flowers. She also said she wanted to grow herbs to cook with. Can you grow herbs on your own? It's not difficult if you know how to grow them. But it also depends on the variety. For example, mint is easy to grow. They are legit talking about cookery stuff. Cooking. I see. There I'm gonna need you to hurry up this conversation, places, okay? I don't and others that need to be need it. frequently. Why did you get so quiet all of a sudden? Because I told her to I'm shut up. Sorry. I realized I was blabbering. Yeah. I don't consider any of that blabbering. I studied a lot about herbs to teach Naomi. So I got a little carried away. A I little. See. Thanks. A little. You don't have to thank me. I just had so much more I wanted to talk to Naomi about. Whatever. That's what happens when people die too early, isn't it? Would you mind teaching? Always so much more they want. What? Of course. Are you sure? No. Tell me more about girl sure. I meant. You never know. <laughs> it might come in handy. I also want to find out what my sister wanted to know. <laughs> okay. Just like with herbs. But this little weird chick on the left, um, sure Sugumi there, her somehow. clairvoyant powers make oh, invisible enemies visible. Has a relaxing so she's kind of important. Drinking it in tea or smelling its aroma when you're tired or feeling bad will make you feel better. Thank you. I'll keep an eye out for some. Okay. Well, goodbye. Bye. She's so no, to me. no, 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 no. She said bye. That means go the fuck away and let me play. There's a part of her that reminds me of Naomi. Look, I like voice acting as much as just about anybody else, but Jesus fuck. Can we talk? Okay. Dude, that's not a hard pose to keep. All right, my guy. I give you that, though. That one's a little bit difficult. Whoa. Oh, we got darts. Can we play? No. No. Fine. 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 Talk, 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 talk. Alright, let's just fucking get out of here. 
You don't look well. You've been through a lot, so rest a while. <clears throat> you can go back to Suo later. Gemma and I have to go back to file our report, but there's no need for you and Shiden to rush. Don't push yourself, Kasane. Hey, if you're gonna rest, rest. I'll read a book or something. I don't give a fuck what you do. With the others. It's my choice. Well, I'm going to rest then. Yeah, so... Uh, a little complaint that I'm gonna have that's pretty much gonna be a major complaint... Follow me around. ...is... Shut up! I'll go then if that's what you want. In a 30 minute span of this game, there's like 20 minutes, 25 minutes of talking, dialogue, and like 5 minutes of gameplay. <sighs> From Mother? We heard about Naomi's death. Why didn't you tell us? Because I didn't have the option to. Naomi. We couldn't refuse her desire to be a scout, so we left our precious girl in your care. Oh, now you're gonna blame me, huh? Because I was wrong to hope. We were fools. I don't want you contacting us anymore. You've never contacted us anyway, so I'm sure that won't bother you. I don't want anymore. Oh, now you're going to give a shit? We didn't even know her mother was still alive. What? Oh, well, there's red strings. Yeah, it's 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 less suspicious when you don't look around everywhere every two steps. That man was from Randall Industries. Why are we standing in the middle of the street? And I know cars can't come here, but still, it's the middle of the damn street, lady. 400 symbol. That's our money. If I know which way we gotta go, but I'm trying to see if there's any more thingies because we need some hills and I'd like to play the game for two minutes before we get to more dialogue. <laughs> and we could always buy some but fuck that. We're stingy with our money. Yeah, they gave us a double jump ability, and I hopped on that faster than anything. I was like, double jump? Cool, mine. Huck, huck. Oh, my lords. Alright, fine, I guess we'll progress. Damn. 400 monies, that's it. That's all we got, huh? So? Seiron's preparations are nearly complete. Everyone deployed in Suo merely await your command. The destruction of the OSF from within is progressing nicely. Half of them will align with Seiron. Then the rebellion will be carried out at Kunad. Wait. Did they see me? I knew you'd come. What's that supposed to mean? Just a sad, sorry fate. Who is that girl? Naomi's younger sister. I'll take care of her. Randall's adoptive daughter. Well, I must be going. You're planning a rebellion right in the middle of town? <laughs> I wonder how much you truly understand. <clears throat> what does that mean? What are you saying? 
You don't need to know yet. Come with me. Why talk? You knocked us out. And I, 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 I get it. You're giving the, the player itself the fucking dialogue, but you knocked her out. Where am I? The GPS program isn't working. Is Sinet down? No. It seems this room is blocking the net. You're awake. Stay here and be quiet. I get it. Karin told you to watch me. That's why you wouldn't leave me alone. So you support the Sayron Rebellion as well? Sayron is my homeland. And Major General Karin appreciates me more than Major General Fubuki. Get out of my way. No. Then I'll just have to make you. Don't be silly. If you think you're good enough to fight me... Hey, listen to me! You got about three seconds before I fuck you up. Do you think you can beat me one-on-one? -on -one? Resist! I do. Then let's see who's better. Right here, right now. You little... Little... No mercy! No. Are you tired? Yeah, that was a tired joke. How could I? Well, Now I'm going to have to heal. I got this for you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't get cocky. Yeah, you do a whole lot more damage than I do to you, which is a little unfair. No bite. Kasane, we're here to rescue you. Um, what's going on? Yeah. Put Sheeta in this fucking place. Too. He got hurt. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I see. So will you help us, Sheeta? Help you? What do you mean? My brother Karin Travers has taken his regiment and is trying to start a rebellion with Sayron. Oh my lords. I want to confirm. You know that my brother is in league with Sayron. Yes. Then, do you know where he went? He mentioned a place called Kunad. That's Kunad Highway. I'm going to go stop Bolt. my brother. This is personal, so I can't ask the OSF to help. I'm going too. I want answers hey, from London. Karin. You know what? I'll drink. Right. I can't let Karin do this either. Sheedan, you'll come with us, Got me right? some water just in case. I... Come with us, Sheedan. You'll get what you want that way. <sighs> All right. If Kasane's going, then so am I. As your commander, I can't let you two go alone. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll Currently, you two fucks are in my party. Luca, Kasane, and myself will go first. Kyoka and Shiden, you support us. Oh. That's best. Right, Shiden? Whatever. Arashi there is the, um... <clears throat> Well, aside from her being eight years old and this dude being three, um, she likes to be the paparazzi girl, which is fine, I suppose.
And uh, the little kid here, he can teleport people with instant transmission. So it's great. How are you, London? Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's check our listicles. Bunny ear device black. Base paws. Um, I shouldn't be able to run out here. Okay, that's about to say. I was blocked earlier. Just looking for anybody with questicle. Yeah, it's nothing. Kyoka, I if you're not injured, then you'll have no problem backing up Kasane. My yeah. is. Okay. <clears throat> you just destroy everything. It doesn't even matter. Fucking bicycles. Nah. <laughs> weird that there's so many environmental objects you can fuck with. I've got a nearby resource reading. Plug-in paralyzation programs are items that unlock plug-in slots when you give them to your allies as a present. They can be obtained by exchanging at shops, etc. Or obviously picking them the fuck up on the field. Uh. Nope, change of mind. Just gotta confirm it twice, right? And then a third time. been imprisoned. I know of my brother's suspicious behavior, so I've been casually observing him, which is why we were able to free you. But my brother likely suspected something like this. Well, that's because he's like 35 and you're two. Like, of course he suspects. It's done. Good. It's not that rare if he drops two of them. But I digress. While borrowing hypervelocity, you can move at a pace that makes it feel as time has slowed down. Using confronting enemies that are fast enemies or those you want to finish off quickly. Additional effects will be added as you strengthen your bond with a rushing. Okay. 
So she's a swift bitch. I'm borrowing this. We're gonna rip your light bulb out. Did we do good tutorial, Master? There's still like the, the, the Jamie Pauls or fucking whatever we gotta uppercut to death. But you know, practice. for you. Got that for all of you. Me now. Son of a bitch. More power. Well, oh, now we're in overdrive. Which is ridiculous. We don't need to be in the overdrive and I wish I could manually turn it on or off but oh well this is the life in this cherry blossom tree it is growing so wild like nature is trying to take the land back from humanity yeah yes it's very beautiful 
You guys have a poetic way of looking at it. I'm just finding it hard to walk. Roots are in the way. Oh, oh okay. I need to focus. It dropped something rare. This will be big. Let's take it down while it's burning. Useless. That was brilliant. Let's do better. Dodge one, didn't dodge the second attack. Got this for you. It's working. Focus on that spot. Fine, kid. It really is. We could do with more. Medium jelly. Bitch.
bitch. I can still fight. Here you go. You motherfucker. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Just driving a vehicle. No biggie. Let's go. Which, the end of the line. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no, there's no backwards thing, you know, no. Just go straight, huh? Okay. That's fine. I was gonna try to take these fuckers out with it, but that's... Slow way now. I must train more. Can you handle it? I can still fight. It's done. I don't think you need me. I'll be using this. More power. It's time for brain drive. Oh god damn it. Brain drive again. <sighs> Is this the Kunat Highway? It used to be. There also used to be a city here that traded with Sue. It's abandoned now. Cars can't even drive on it. That's why we're forced to walk. Next. At some speed. But my power can keep up just fine. It's done. Using brain drive. I'm using it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do it, checkmate. That was using it effectively. It's over. You guys over there dying? That was brilliant. That seems to be the spot. I think it dodged it. It did. There. 
This thing is really good at dodging. I tried to dodge. Didn't work. I tried to dodge again. Didn't work. Those things are tanky. I hate hordes. Everything is fine with that thing. That thing is just too tanky. Seto? What is Seto Platoon doing here? Kyoka, can you back us up? We need to withdraw. Right. It's ridiculous for us to fight our allies. Gamma, come with me. Tell me what's gotten into you. No, I... We'll draw off the OSF around us. I doubt they are willing to take on two Septentrions. Would you say the same? <laughs> If it were me, Luca? Corin. Luca. I knew you would be here. Leave my brother to me. Don't fool yourself! Come at me all together. Turn okay, big boy. I'll take you on. All right. We don't know how he'll attack. Karin can use multiple powers without SAS. The power only Karin Travers has. Uh oh. Brain eater. I'll wipe you out. It's too easy. It would have been better for you to remain quietly in your cage, Kasane. Stop joking. I'll decide what's best for me. Just what are you planning? I don't need to answer you. Okay, so I can't hurt him, right? No, I can't hurt him? You're nothing but trouble, Karin. You should consider how it affects people around No, I can't hurt him. You're worried about Fubuki. Do you think it would be better if I'm not around him? I didn't say anything about Fubuki. There's just no talking with him, is there? You're such a pain. You'll taste my strength. There. <laughs> Move. I have to do something. Running. 
Missed up. Can you move? I was too excited. <laughs> Ouch. Not bad. I think we're supposed to die. Which is why I'm not really doing much in the ways of trying to live. Numbers won't make a difference. I see. Yeah. So it's different this time. Understood. However. No. Everyone, get back. <laughs> Like I said, it's a very weird way to tell the story, but you know, whatever. Mint farming knowledge really came in clutch right there. Looks like I got blown away and separated from the group. I'm in trouble if I don't find everyone else. I can't believe he's using a brain field. I thought the strain would be too much during an actual fight. It's done. So that's the real power of a Septentry on first class. What? <laughs> I can become even stronger. Oh, we're level 23 now, huh? We we probably have quite a quite many brain points. Yeah, okay, we have 10. Do that. We're getting hit and knocked down a little bit. So yeah, there's there's that. Cool. Don't care. two points and that's fine we still don't have like better equipment <laughs> I don't know we're still using like level one gear if they stand in my way I'll eliminate them Well, okay. Is that you, Kasane? You okay? Y yes. Everyone, prepare to deploy. So it was 
one of those guys. What the hell was that attack? Is that holding a fish? Or is that another hand? We have to run. Arm. It's another arm. Okay. We don't have to run. What was that? People turned into others? They're National Defense Forces, right? Hmm? Yeah. Though the National Defense Forces around here are Sauron Garrison. Are they not Sauron? No, from what I saw, it looked like they were from Suo. So it was either the National Defense Forces or the new Himuka government that turned Naomi into another. Turn Naomi into an other? What are you talking about? Captain Seto, let's go back to Karin. He knows what's going on. Sounds like there's a good reason. Okay, it'll be dangerous, but let's go back to Major General Karin. No, wait. It looks like Yuito and Nagi are nearby. Over there. We'll take the others down one by one and help them. Can you do it? Of yep. course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Makes me want to steal you from Kyoka Platoon. Let's go. <clears throat> Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Leave it to me. It's a tree. It's a water tree. More power. That seems to be the spot. What's going on? Use it. Do you know, Kasane? I'll explain later. Just do your best to survive. You fucker. You fucker. What? Okay. Okay, I can't dodge while I'm wet. That's kind of stupid. I'm not done yet. What is this tracking bullshit, dude? Absolutely annoying. I have to do something. That seems to be the spot. Help me, Yuito. There's nowhere to run. Fucker. It's hard to move when you're wet. Yeah, no shit. I guess I'm getting better. What did you do that entire time? Uh, and you healed good. me once, that was cool. Are you okay? Uh yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Anyway, let's go to Karin. Go to him? Can we beat him? No, he's not our enemy. <laughs> but he attacked us. No, I found out about Naomi. It's... 
Nagi, what are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. Hey. Nagi! Now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! Really? Regret? That's, that's your big thing? Nagi! <sighs> Then you will die. Captain Sato. Nagi, stop. <laughs> Huh? We finally found you. Oh, Captain Sato! I won't die that easily, Nagi. After all, you're a part of my platoon. I'll be damned if they take you! So the, the captains are supposed to be like wicked strong, right? And these cadets are not supposed to be wicked strong. And yet, Nagi just fucked him all up. Who knows? <clears throat> the storytelling's pretty terrible at this point. I have no fucking idea what's going on. Just nothing. I'm playing it to kill things. That's pretty much the goal here. What is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito. Are you all right, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeragi Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. <sighs> it looks a whole lot like Karen. <laughs> Touching shit you don't understand. The red strings. They will twist through time and lead the way for you, Kasane. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I understand perfectly now. If only they would have spoken to me underwater earlier. What is that? <clears throat> it's fucking Snake Way. Didn't you watch DBZ? Come on now. What's going on here? I don't get it. Yuito. Major Joka. Kasane, what happened? First, we were attacked by Major General Karin. And then we were attacked by other OSF. Then there was a big earthquake. But it's strange. How did an earthquake make something like that? What is that? I don't know. But it looks like there's a gravitational anomaly around that thing. Damn. That must be why my head hurts so much. I felt a pain too. It wasn't like a normal headache. It was something different. So, none of you saw that? Then what could that have been? Maybe it was just that dream again. What are you talking about? I sometimes have these strange dreams. They're about these threads called red strings. I had one just now, but this time Yuito was there. Now, Yuito may have been a dream as well. Why would we have the same dream as you? Maybe it's because the dream about the strings is more detailed than normal. And that's why you thought it was real and not a dream. Yes, but it couldn't have been. I'm not so sure. Maybe your dreams with Yuito aren't dreams and are actually <clears throat> experiences the two of you had. Wait. I'm sorry, Kasane, but right now we have more important things to worry about. Yeah, right. First off, if we stay here, there's a high possibility we'll get sucked into that thing. I also wonder about Suo. If Karin is serious, then it's safe to bet that something's probably going on there. I don't see Luca or Yuito either. They probably went back there as well. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let's hurry back to Suo. Can we get a confirmation on Seto and Nigo? No? Seems just gonna leave that open ended. What, what is this? Is this Suo? The direction, the distance we traveled, and the buildings all tell me we're at Suo. Our Habaki most likely isn't working, so the city functions must be down too. It makes sense that we can't reach Haruka. I hope she's all right. Hmm. This is one of our research centers. It's half destroyed. That's only half, huh? You mean a Spring Pharmaceuticals Research Center? Yep. And there's our logo. But I don't think we had a research center in Suo. Is this really Suo? Something's not right. Oh, this terminal is still running. I'll check it out. What's that? <clears throat> something scattered on the ground over there. These are... ampules. They look just like the ones I saw on the abandoned subway. Major General Karin? Fubuki? So... cold... No... Is he dead? Major General Karin, is this the rebellion you talked about? You say you want to change the new Himuka regime, but look, you've gone and destroyed this city! Oh, I don't know. I... Karin, is Fubuki dead because of your rebellion? <sighs> Karin, answer me! Your brother's body. Here, take it. Kasane, so you're finally here. What? 
And it wasn't that much of a journey, motherfucker. It was legit five minutes. Could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Cure the metamorphosis? What do you mean? Can Naomi be saved? Save Naomi? What are you talking about? It can't be done here. This planet, no, this whole dimension is at its end. It will be consumed by the Kunad Gate. Finally, I can finally save her. What happened? That was Major General Karin's power. Skill class SS, Brain Eater. He can copy any power and make it his own. Tabuki, I'm sorry. I want to give you a proper burial, but there's something I have to take <clears throat> care of first. We're following him, right? Karin just used hypervelocity. He copied it from me on orders from High Command. I'm going to follow his trail. We can still catch him if we act now. It's not like you to be so dedicated. I won't let him go until he tells me why Fubuki had to die. <sighs> Let's go. I have so much I want to ask him. Let's hurry after Karin. This trail won't last long. You feel like they started you out in the middle of a, 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 a tell. Like just the, the, right in the fucking middle. Like we're supposed to understand yes, what the fuck all this is. I just can't and then just go right along with this rebellion that suddenly popped up. For real, King. For real. I'm not sure if the writers are being lazy or if they're going to just like explain it at the very end like they do with some other things. But the, it's it's... I like my beginning, middle, and end, okay? You fuck with that, you better have damn good at everything else. Next. Sure, if that saved, I have no idea. Wasn't even looking. Probably did. I'm sorry. Use this well. At some speed, but my power can keep up just fine. Can it? Work hard. That was a great attack. I need your help. Just an ally. You 
You owe me. jelly what? would have been nice to see that water earlier huh <sighs> hey wait someone's there in the beginning of the game. They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks like we have to fight back. Work hard. I need your help. Can I not beat this motherfucker either? We're supposed to win that, huh? We're supposed to win that. We're supposed to win that when we can't do any fucking damage to him. Really? Really? That's fucking stupid. But okay. Okay. That's what you want me to do, game. Um, I, I, I guess we have to beat him. We get killed in four hits, and he takes five million. Hey, wait. Oh, fuck off. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks it's like we have to fight back. Can we handle it? I'll be using this. <laughs> Yeah? I'll do this, Sheenan. You can't beat that motherfucker. He teleports when he attacks. 
teleports when he attacks. That's that, that's great. Okay. Well, I guess this is how we're gonna fucking. <coughs> hey, wait! Someone's there. <coughs> Finish everything. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks like we have to fight back. <coughs> Now. Legit hit me fucking three times. It's yours. And then he dodges the, the counter attack. That's some bullshit. I'm not done yet. Thank me later. Can you handle it? I was close. That's it. I lost Karn's trail. You're giving up? I'd follow him if I could. It's just after that distraction, too much time has passed. And I dodged, motherfucker. I dodged. And I dodged through that too, but take it easy. What the fuck ever? Okay, so you're just supposed to live that <sighs> Wait, who are you? Are you Yuito? Huh? Impossible. That voice. Are you Kasane Randall? Yuito Sumaragi? This old man? Wait, I know that sarcastic voice. That's not old. Shiden Ritter? I see. You jumped from the time of the Suo incident to this time. <sighs> I think I understand what's going on. Although I well, can't I fucking don't because myself. they're giving you a goddamn... Ito Sumeragi. Seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? No. I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year I 2020, but that's not the case, correct? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This is Suo in 2070. That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? Okay, if you're 50 years older, you don't look it. Just, just saying. The end. So I guess age is a weird thing in this game, too. What do you mean? How does this happen to Suo in 50 years? I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. I, Yuito Sumeragi, led the world to destruction. What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo-black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasana, your power isn't psychokinesis. It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. The red strings. So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? Continue. What? Everyone is gone. Uh, so, the time has come. 
I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time, like they did just now. Yeah, yeah, we, we get that. How you know, you know have to say it three this? times to explain it. Who told you? Ara Habaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here, but we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. Got my ass beat by a blind dude. <clears throat> An old blind dude, apparently. I have to hurry. Oh, my bad. It all looks the fucking same. shouldn't have, but it did. I know you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiron Rebellion, Nuhimuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, a hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. Truth is that you jumped into the future. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. The Kunod Gate. The pseudo-black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. So, yeah. it seems <clears throat> that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel, 
and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. <gasps> if I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live. And now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do die. So that entire conversation was just pointless. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. <clears throat> what? I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. Oh, that version of no, you. No, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away, though. Others? I can't believe you do this! I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny! Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. W what? Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> My father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers, to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. Uh -huh. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage, a false hero who killed the world. So... What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. He's gonna get eaten. <gasps> Looks like.
Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Telepathic communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Mm. Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So, you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings, are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. <laughs> Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi, but it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All right. It might be good to talk to Arashi. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. But that was a future I didn't want to see. Never is. Never is. <clears throat> you seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. <sighs> what an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. 
and uh, Can we talk? do some more talking. What do you need? I'm busy. There's something that's bothering me about your actions during our operations. <laughs> okay, Ms. Leader. Go ahead, say what you want to say. You fly solo too often during battles. From my calculations, you do this about 30% more than the other members. More importantly, there weren't many cases where it gave us an advantage. How about you coordinate with the rest of us? What? Did you not hear me? I'm suggesting that fighting individually doesn't play to our platoon's strength. I follow instructions outlined by the operation. Or is babysitting you guys part of the plan? I didn't ask you to babysit. Combining our strengths is a more efficient solution. We all have unique powers. Complementing each other with what we lack will help us fight more effectively. Our operations have all been successful. I don't see a problem. We could be stronger if we continued to train. Are you satisfied with our current state? You don't have any right to say that to me. I'll fight my own way. Stop trying to boss me around. This isn't an order, it's a suggestion. Are you all right? Do you have a problem with your hearing? What did you say? He does have a problem with his now, hearing. Now, now, you two, don't fight. We're all on the same team here. I only suggested she then cooperate with us more. Seriously? You were giving me a whole lot of attitude for someone asking for my cooperation. Okay, calm Yeah, because her monotone voice is definitely Listen just attitude. Shiden, your fighting skills and analysis levels are excellent. We all know you're capable of working on your own. However, you're part of a team. Don't you think it's worth practicing coordinating with your teammates? It's not easy to adapt to a sudden change. So why don't you start by becoming friends with Kasane? <laughs> friends? Kasane, you've taken the initiative to think about our platoon. Our team will become stronger if we're able to coordinate well together. But just telling someone how you feel isn't enough to reach an understanding. There are many ways it's like we're three and we can't remember what they said two seconds ago, so they gotta say it again and again and again and again Creative. and again. You're both good kids. I'm sure you'll get along. Do your best. I don't need friends. If I'm strong enough to fight alone, I can beat the others without having to rely on unnecessary coordination. That's fine with me, as long as you don't hold us back in battle. Are you saying I'm holding you back? Yes. First, you charge into the front lines alone too much. You lose sight of your surroundings when you get excited. <laughs> your overconfidence and poor follow-through are also concerning. You always lose focus and relax when you see victory at hand. I I'll do better on the next assignment. So you're aware of this. Good. Everyone has faults. As perfect as we try to be, we all have limits. That makes relying on your teammates a necessary strategy. Fighting alone will get you killed one of these days. <coughs> Shiden? He seems angry. Was this is I definitely talking? how we're gonna end the episode, just by a bunch Are of fucking mad? talking. I apologize if I offended you. So you point out people's weaknesses in order to claim superiority? That's not what I do. It doesn't matter who's better or worse. Fine, be like that. But I'm never losing to you. I'll conquer all my flaws and weaknesses on my own. Now don't talk to me anymore. I've really made him mad. I guess this means I didn't come up with a creative way to communicate my thoughts to him. I'll have to work on that. I bet Naomi would be able to handle this without a problem. I have to figure this out on my own now. I have to think of a way to get along with him. This is painful. Still painful. All right.
You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi oh, fuck off. I'm really sorry for the pain. Jesus. I don't blame you for that. This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes, so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes help me take better care of myself. Gonna name your enemies others, then you need to have an additional word when you're talking about the people. Instead of saying others in the context that Kasane just said, always helping other people. You get to add the word people on there, so it's a, not a misconstrued message. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, oh, fuck off. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. Oh, fuck off! If only I'd looked after the platoon better. Jesus. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. Yeah, if he keeps well, fucking repeating himself, fight. it makes it worse. You'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. Thank fuck for that. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see yeah. Him my sister's kind gesture. Jesus fuck. My free time. I answer stupid ass messages. That's what I do on my free time, you fuck. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Hasane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. <sighs> okay, but you're looking We're gonna talk. disheveled today. I'm gonna get ready for work. I just thought you were so tired <laughs> with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Like your hair clip. It's kinda dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. It was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. 
This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. Well, he's dead. And she's not. That, that could attribute towards a little offness. Okay. Wallet keys. Uniform. Okay. One more to do. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? <sighs> you seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh. I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Nope. Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? Surprisingly useless. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same Most year. of these NPCs are just really? fucking useless. Yeah. You were famous Aside from in our class for being hard to approach. Siphoning their you power. When you the OSF. There's really no need for them. Year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. Look, this isn't your bonding episode, Arashi. Okay, fuck off. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Or maybe. But after making so many friends in the OSS, you farmed a little bit too much mint. Connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? No, Just not, ask not really. Me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh, do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. <laughs> I want to talk to Kyoka. Okay. Kyoka. Uh huh. Air muffs.
Right. So that's supposed to increase their bond, which increases this shit. Maybe there's multiple steps for it. I don't know. Either way. Now it's time for work, so um, I'll be back later on tonight. In like six and a half hours. Seven hours, something like that. And we'll play a little bit more. I think this is a, a couple hour at a time game type of deal because I, I can't fucking deal with talking about farming mint and stupid ass fortunes and useless other fucking things. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.